Hey everyone, John Chow here from johnchow.com and today I have an unboxing and review of the C plate by Conkite. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. This is the C plate by Conkite and uh, it's the packaging is not the best of Ubi experience, like the out of box experience is, is nothing. There's no box, it just came wrapped in a piece of cellophane. And in here, this is the, the C plate. So I got two of these. So let's, they're both the same. So let's just, let's just take one right now. What the C plate basically is, it's a metal mnemonic backup for your crypto C words. So, yeah. yeah. When you first set up your hardware wallet, like the, uh, Coin Kite code card here. Uh, during the setup process, it will generate 24 words for you. And these 24 words are your, basically your private key. And these 24 words are generated from a list of 2,048 words. And this is from the Bit39 protocol. So using the random number generator or a set of dice, it will randomly choose 24 words from this list. And these 24 words are basically the keys to your Bitcoin. You lose these words, you will lose your Bitcoin. You lose this wallet, you can still recover it if you have the words because you can use the words to recover your wallet. So it is very, very important that you protect these words at all costs. And unfortunately, uh, Virtually all crypto wallet, the only thing they give you the back of the 24 words is a piece of paper with the numbers 1 to 24 and you're supposed to write the words down. And this isn't really the best way to back of the word. So what a lot of Bitcoin maximums do is that instead of backing up the paper, they back it up to metal. And that is what this is for. So the makers of the code card, the best a crypto wallet, Bitcoin wallet out there, also creates the C plate and the C plate allows you to back up your 24 C words on the stainless steel. So you'll fall stainless steel. So there's one to 12, 12 words on one side and 13 to 24. So 12 words on the other side and combined to give you 24 words. So how you do, well, how you do it is uh, basically one to 12 is this way. And then you see the letters A to Z on the vertical. And then you'll see uh, there's a total of four boxes. Each box represents the letter. So what you do is uh, you take a punch here. There's a center punch. And you, the first word, I mean the first letter, you find the first letter to your word. So let's just say the, uh, the, the very first word in the bit word list is abandon, A, B, a N D O N abandon. So if assuming that's your first word, what you do is you would go to the A like that, and then you would just basically push down the center punch and it will punch and make a mark on the A. So the you know that's A. And then the next letter will be a B abandon. So you go to B on the second on the second square, and again you push down and it will make an indent on the B, and then you go to A again. And then you choose the N and that will get you your first full letter. And then you're on to word number two. But you're wondering, wait a minute, abandon has more than four letters. What about the remaining letters? It's okay. You only need the first four letter of a bit 39 word list because every single first four letters in this list are all unique. When you restore uh, the list onto a wallet, once you enter the first four letter, the code card will automatically fill out the remaining letters. So in the case of abandon, just by entering A, B, A, N, it will automatically fill in the O, N, and it will know that word is abandoned. So you don't need, you don't need more than four characters. That's why there's only four boxes. So you punch out the first word, then you punch out the second word, third word, and you go for the whole process to do 12, flip it around, 24 and then your 24 C words are backed up onto metal instead of paper. 
something to keep in mind when punching out the uh, the letters. It's uh, it's one use. You do not you cannot make a mistake because once you put the mark down, you can't erase it. So uh, be absolutely sure the letter you're punching is correspond to the letter. Uh, instead of punching immediately, you may decide to mark mark it with a felt pen first. Like you know, just take a felt pen and mark all the spots you're supposed to punch. And then after you mark it, then use the center punch to punch it. Because uh, yeah, like I said, you, you you punch the wrong spot. No, no one do, no one do. Okay, uh, let's talk about what I like and don't like about the seat plate. What I do like about it, first of all, is that it's nice and simple and easy to set up. Uh, unlike those uh, metal mnemonic where that uses small little letters and you put into cassette, uh, they take a lot longer to set up or, or metal mnemonic that requires you to stamp the words onto metal like a code TI, those take longer. Whereas this, along with a, uh, a punch, you can set this up in one quarter of the time. This shouldn't take more than 10, 15 minutes to do. So it's a ease of setup. The other thing I like about it is that it's single piece. All 24 words, uh, unlike say a block plate where it's two pieces, 12 words and 12 words, this, I like it on a single piece, it's much, much better. Because a single piece, less uh, failure possibility, like uh, this will survive fire, uh, it will stop up to 2,500, 2,600 degrees. Uh, so it'll survive any house fire, any flood. Uh, yeah, but the dog, the dog can't eat this, whereas, you know, the dog can, can eat that. Right. <laughs> and it's crush proof too. Well, if you crush it, like it's bent, you will be still able to see the indent. Whereas the, uh, the cassette type uh, backup, like, like the LA, if, if it gets crushed, the, uh, the, the, the letters, fall out of the slot. And if, if the letter falls out of the slot, basically uh, good luck putting your seawalls back together. But uh, if this gets crushed, you'll still be able to make out the words so there'll be no loss of data. So that, that, that's another thing. If, if you value security above anything else, and that's what, that's what the, uh, the code card is by Concade, the code card is the most secure hardware wallet. So you would expect them to make it extremely secure my money C backup, and this is extremely secure mnemonic C backup. Now, uh, what I don't like about it, uh, a few minor things. The first thing is that uh, I, I, there's no way, nothing to cover this up. Like uh, if someone sees this and they see all the, the dots and stuff, uh, and they know what it is, they can immediately take a picture and then they would have your, your C word. Whereas uh, if so, if there's some way to cover it up so they can't see it, make it, make it inconspicuous, it'll be better. Perhaps uh, once you stamp it, you can put it into an envelope so it hides it. Or take a can of Plasti Dip and spray it with Plasti Dip so it's covered in Plasti Dip and then put that away. And so if you need it, you can just peel off the Plasti Dip and then you can review your seaweed, do it that way. The other, and uh, I guess the, the last thing I don't like about it is, it, it's the price, it, it's, it's rather expensive. It's $59.99, so 60 bucks, 60 bucks each. So two of these will cost you $120. Uh, but right now it is on sale, I side checking the website right now, it's, uh, it's on sale for $49.97. But here's the thing, for $49.97, it doesn't include a punch. This is extra. So if you don't have a punch, you will need to order one, that's another $12, or you get one at Home Depot. But uh, yeah, you figure for that for 60 bucks, they would include include a punch, but they don't. <laughs> Good thing I had one, because yeah, otherwise I wouldn't be able to use this. <laughs> All right, so uh, this is the Seaplay by Quankite. Very, very strong, very, very secure metal mnemonic C backup. And uh, if you have a sizable amount of Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, you want to keep safe, you definitely do not want to leave it on paper. You definitely want to put on something a lot more durable, like metal. And these will do it for you. John Chow from JohnChow.com. Thank you very much for watching. Link to buy this product is below this video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Please like and share my video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time.